Now this weekend's London Marathon will see thousands of people taking on the gruelling 226.2 mile course. Let me get that right. Many to raise money for charity. But what do you do if you miss out on an official place to take part but still want to fundraise for a good cause? Sarah Orchard has met up with two runners who found a way around it. Well, it might not look like much now, but this is one of the three London Marathon start lines on Blackheath. And on Sunday, 30,000 runners will be getting ready right here to take on the 26.2 mile course. But last Saturday, I met two runners who decided to run the race a week early for a new charity, Cats. I started the charity with my wife after our daughter was diagnosed with Tay-Sachs. There's only maybe two to three children a year born with it in the UK, but they're very close to starting a potential treatment that could um, prolong life expectancy at the moment. You know, children is normally at about um, five. We were too late to apply to actually uh, get a Golden Bond ticket. So uh, Danny and I thought we wanted to do the London Marathon course anyway, that we just do the week before. The pair set off to run the course with four friends. The extra support is welcomed by the two Daniels as they're actually running 13 marathons in 13 months, although they know London will be a bit different compared to the actual marathon. The difference would be the crowd. I've run it a few times in the past and it, the crowd really spurs you on. Um, so that's probably one thing we'll miss, but it's such a great route to run through the different parts of London. It's going to be a good day. The pair have already built a reputation for running their marathons in style, with last month's effort finishing at half-time during a rugby match inside Wembley Stadium. Please give them a round of applause, Dan, Louis and Dan Howe. From a packed Wembley Stadium to cheers from close family and friends on the Mall, the pair finished their seventh marathon and are already planning their eighth. Sarah Orchard, BBC London News. Well, let's...